So as we slowly slide the Wallabot DIY tool along the wall, we will here detect our first stud. So we keep on sliding it down. We are going to detect that PVC pipe. And then as we continue on, we are going to detect this stud. Wallabot reached out to me recently and asked me if I'd like to do a video on the Wallabot DIY tool. I don't do many sponsored videos like this and this one is sponsored by Wallabot and the reason I don't do many is because if I don't believe in the product then I'm just not going to do a video about it. The Wallabot is something that I believe in. I purchased my first Wallabot a couple of years ago. It's right here in the box. We'll take a look at that in a few minutes. What happened was I put a screw and a wire hanging up some curtains. It was an expensive repair and it was a mistake that didn't need to be made. If I had had the Wallabot then I would have saw the wire up there and I would have been able to avoid that mistake. But I wasn't able to avoid it so along came the Wallabot. It saved me a couple of times now. Um, it has shown me some wires in the wall that where I wanted to put screws the last time I was hanging a TV on the wall. Um, I discovered a wire back there so it's, it's saved my skin a couple of times now and I just couldn't be more appreciative of what this can do. Yes, they're a little bit expensive right out of the gate but if it saves you one repair such as a pipe or a wire then you've got your money back and then some. The Wallabot DIY 2 has its own battery. It takes about four hours to charge and you're going to get about three hours of continuous service out of it and that is not bad. For most people that will last you all day or who knows how long, a long time. It's not good to leave them on the charger. You have a little switch right down here and this is how you turn it on. So we'll press that switch and we'll hold it for a minute. We should get a red light and then it should turn to blue. I didn't hold it long enough. There's the red light and there's the blue light. So it is now ready to be connected to the phone. Let's scan this wall. So as you can see from the back side we have a copper pipe. We have a wire running horizontally all the way through. We have a PVC pipe and we have a wire attached to the stud. So these can be a little bit tricky to find and I'm going to show you a little trick to help you de decipher that this wire is actually attached to the stud as we go along here. Let's get this scanner hooked up and start scanning. So to start with the first thing I want to show you is how accurate the Wallabot DIY 2 is at finding the center of the stud. When we find the center of the stud we're going to get a little pointer right here. Let me let me make it think it's seeing a stud here. There we go. So you're going to get a little pointer right at the bottom of the phone screen that's going to show you the center and it'll also say the center of the stud. Then we have a mark right up here on top of the wall about DIY 2 that is going to be where you make your pencil mark on the stud. Now we want to be careful as we come up on the stud and make sure that we're holding the wall about square. So it's showing me that this is the center of the stud. But if you're a little tilted this way or a little tilted this way, it, it'll still show you the center, but it's obviously going to be a skew of things. So you want to make sure that you're holding it as straight up and down as possible. So right here it is showing the center of the stud. Right there. We're going to give that a little mark. Right on that line. And as you can see, that is money, the center of the stud. Because the Wallabot DIY 2 has its own battery, you do get a battery indicator that shows up right here in the top corner of your screen. That's going to show you the status of the battery in the Wallabot itself. And as you can see, we're fully charged. We're ready to go for a while. Now let's scan this wall and we'll find the wire that's running horizontally and we're going to locate these pipes and then we'll locate the rest of the studs. Let's say you're going to mount a TV to the wall and you've already located this stud. However, the other side of the TV mount is going to wind up here where there's no stud available and you're going to have to put an anchor in the drywall. 
before we sock that anchor in the drywall, we are going to want to scan this area and make sure there are no wires and there's no pipes. So we want to scan the wall slowly and basically just target the area where you want to put the mount. So it's not like you have to do the whole wall section, just target that area and be very thorough with it. So we'll move this up here nice and slow. And as you can see, we've just discovered that wire that is running horizontally back there. And there it is. So when you see something across the screen this way, the Wallabot is more designed and reads better through these outside edges of the unit itself. Not that it can't read this way, but you're going to get a much more accurate read if you turn this way. Now you see when I had the the wall about turned the other way the wire was showing a, a very on a hard angle on the screen and it's not really on a hard angle it's fairly straight through the wall and it's going to show you very accurately where that wire is at now to follow this wire in this direction it is best to orient this way and follow this wire across now we know that this wire is running horizontally through the wall now as we get to the stud, the wire is going to kind of disappear and it's going to look for the stud. Now there it is. Now it's going to show the stud in the wrong direction, which is okay. We understand why. We're holding it on an angle. Then as we keep going, there's the wire. So now we're showing the wire. We may pick up this pipe. We may not. We got a little bit too high. But if you go through the center here and you mark this and you go back into the back side and look, that is going to be exactly where that wire is at. Now we're going to run through here and then we're going to start to show the wire again and continue on. So at that point you know definitely that there is a wire running horizontally through the wall. When will you find that? When a wire is jumping from one switch to another switch, one outlet to another outlet is typically when you're going to see a wire running horizontally through the wall. So now that we know what the wire and the stud looks like in the wall, let's go over to these pipes. Now on the Wallabot DIY 2, it's going to say pipe wire. So the Wallabot can't distinguish between a pipe and a wire, but irregardless, you don't want to put a screw in either one of them. So as we move along, we're going to see the stud. And then we're going to see that PVC pipe. So it'll pick up metal wood PVC and then as we continue on down we have the copper pipe down here now as you can see it is showing the edge of this stud and then as we move on down there is our copper pipe right there so it'll show you everything that you need to see in the wall to make sure that you don't damage anything now let's find this wire next to the stud so we're going to move across here slowly and as we get there, you can see that it's showing the pipe wire right there. Now, in image mode, it cannot show a wire and a stud together. However, as we move a little more, the wire disappears and the stud appears. So that is going to tell you that that wire is attached to the side of that stud. So here comes the center of the stud now. But as we back up, the stud will kind of just disappear and then the wire is going to reappear so it gets a little funny when the wire is attached to the stud but you just need to be able to decipher that that is exactly what's going on so it's even going to kind of flash back and forth right here between the wire and the stud because that wire is attached to the stud and it's close to it so it's doing a really good job of sensing what's going on there I know some people say you can find the stud with a magnet. You can use a magnet, you can get it to find a screw, get it to stick to the screw, and voila, there's the stud. Here's the problem with that. You don't know where the screw is in the stud. It may not be in the center of the stud, it may be on the edge of the stud. So yes, you have found a screw that is holding the drywall on. That does not mean that you found the center of the stud. If you want to find the center of the stud, you need the visual stud finder or the Wallabot DIY too. If you're hanging a TV or something like that, something heavy on the wall, you want to make sure that you're in the center of the stud and not on the edge. Don't trust a magnet.
The Wallabot DIY 2 also has an expert mode. In expert mode, the Wallabot DIY 2 also uses the same radar technology that it does in image mode. However, it's giving you a different interface to look at or a different view to see things. It can also see things a little bit better. Um, in some instances, you can see the wire next to the stud. So we have a slide scale right here where we can adjust the intensity, where we can pull it down to where it's really low. So right now it thinks my hand is a stud, which is okay because it's working good for this part. Then as we increase the intensity, you can see that the red image gets bigger. While this looks like an infrared image of some sort, it's not. It's just a different visual interface than the imaging. So as we come up the wall, it's going to show us the wire. So right here is the wire. And we have a slide scale right here that we can adjust the percentage. If we increase the percentage, it's going to show us a little red mark back there where the wire is exactly. But we get this dotted line and it also says pipe wire right here on the wall about itself. And then as we move along, we're going to start to see the stud. So this is showing the stud and this is showing the wire. This is a good indication that that wire is running right through the stud. Then as we continue on, it's going to tell us right here this is a wooden stud. And then it's going to show us the center of it just as if we were in image mode. So as we continue on, it's going to show us the wire again. You saw a little heat signature down there is the wire. Let's see if we can hold it. That's the wire right there. And then as we move along, it's starting to show us that pipe and the wire at the same time. That's what these two images are right here, the pipe and the wire. So as we move along a little further, it's going to tell us that that is the pipe. And you can also still see the wire down below the pipe. Then as we continue on, you can still see the edge of the pipe and the wire down there. Now here we come onto the stud. It's going to tell us that it's a stud. And as we move along, we're going to see this stud. And then on the side of this stud, we're going to start to see that wire. Now if we try to scale it in, we might get it to show us that in two separate images. But it's really close to the stud, so maybe not. But it will show us a tail or a pattern of that wire being there. Let's move down a little bit. So there's the center of the stud right there. It's picking up the other wire that's going through. Let's increase the intensity just a little bit. That tail that it's showing right there is the wire attached to the stud. If we could fine tune this and possibly get that in two blobs, it's a lot easier if it was a little bit away from the stud, but there's a chance that could happen. But that is indicating a wire. If you would like the Wallabot DIY 2 to be attached to your phone, it is a separate purchase. It is called Wall Attach. And what we're going to find in here is a couple of small magnets with some double face tape on them. The thinner magnet goes on the back of your phone and the thicker magnet goes on the back of the Wallabot itself. So by removing the double face tape on the back of the thicker magnet, just like that, it is going to go on to the Wallabot DIY 2 right here, just like that. And there we have it. Then this thinner magnet, it's very thin. You won't even really notice it on the back of your phone. It's going to go back here. And this will lock the two together. Now not everyone may want the Wallabot attached to their phone. But in my opinion, it makes life a whole lot easier. So we're just going to stick this right to the back of my phone case. Just like that. And there we have it. Now I can lock the two together and use them as one piece instead of having 
to deal with two individual pieces then I can slide this across the wall and have the image right here in front of me while I'm doing it and a free hand to mark the things I need to mark. The Wallabot DIY 2 is the latest technology from Wallabot. This is the Wallabot that I bought a couple of years ago. This is the Wallabot DIY Plus X. This one uses the battery of your phone. It does not have its own internal battery. So it has to be connected to your phone via a cord. Um, this works very nicely and I'm very happy with it. But to be able to not have a cord connecting this to my phone is an excellent feature. It's also very nice that it has its own battery and it's not drawn from my phone. The Wallabot DIY 2 can effectively scan through two layers of drywall and it can also scan through plywood. When you get your Wallabot DIY 2 you're going to have to download the app on your phone. Once you get it downloaded it's going to give you some instructions. You go to the app, you open it up, you go to the make sure your Wallabot DIY 2 is turned on connect them together if you want it says we were paused it's pairing to Wi-Fi it's connecting now we're connected then it's going to give you on-screen instructions next up now it's going to say start calibration we should have already had it on the flat surface at this point you're just going to work it in circles so that it can read the wall figure out what's going on in the wall and away you go. Calibration complete. We are ready to scan. And there's our first stud. There's our wire. So we're ready to go. If you switch from one wall to another wall, you're going to want to recalibrate the Wallabot DIY 2 each time you do that. I'm going to put a link down in the description for the Wallabot DIY 2 and the wall attach magnetic rings to attach the Wallabot to your phone. And that's all we got for this time. If you haven't subscribed yet, I would greatly appreciate it if you would consider doing so. If you enjoyed yourself, click on one of those two videos that's going to pop up next to me. And remember to always respect the power of your power tools. And thank you all about for sponsoring this video.